This Ghanaian disc jock's dream has finally come true. But Lagazi with a wake-up call about poor communication and hefty performance fees. Laga, 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 Laga. Laga, Laga. Radio Jock Lagazi, bit by the reggae bug listening to his father's vinyls of Jimmy Cliff and Peter Tosh as a boy, later getting on air with a show of his own, now syndicated on four stations across the country. Millions of listeners. King Lagazi run the place, it's me again, ja. Ghana, the home of high life, as well as local heroes, Shadawale and Stone Boy but also the gateway to Africa for reggae music. In a corporate office you walk into in Ghana, you either hear them playing some Bob Marley, Africa, unite. some culture, burning spear, so do you remember the steel pulse, all the youth over there are all into dancer. Ghana is current, you know. Anywhere you go, especially when you enter into the ghetto, the garrison, trust me, everybody's into it. You have a lot of Gaza fans in Ghana. Through the Shatter movement, we Shatter. Follow me to Gaza. Tentic was in Ghana recently. At the Accra Sports Stadium. 40,000 capacity. When we invited him on stage, he couldn't believe his eyes. If Massacre, if he's to listen to me now and put things together and come to Accra, trust me, he will be surprised. Massacre, he, because I go to some dances and I drop his song, they don't know my story, and a woo place flatten. Oh, them have let me know hungry before. Always Lagazi's dream to visit Jamaica. It's taken a while, but here he is. I am trying to bridge the gap between Ghana and Jamaica because linking artists by social media sometimes is very tedious. Move, do, quick, keep up, yeah. Song like the Dread from TJ, it's a big song. I've tried to reach out to him and there is no response. Some of these booking agents of these artists are, excuse me, my, my language, not serious in such a way that you will write to them and it will take them forever to respond to you. Chief. I've been trying to get Bon Tequila for 18 years now for interview. Slow motion. I play a song from Killer, video them, tag him on Instagram. He will repost them, but the man don't talk to me. This is the problem. If they are not, you know, well-versed in social media, I think they should employ people to go into their inbox and look over there and reply messages because you might be missing something. Because this is music business and social media is the new ish. So if you don't put yourself over there via social media, nobody will listen to you. Because there are a lot of me in Africa who want them on their shows. And I've been telling them, Europe is not the place again. Africa is the place. Another message from Lagazi concerns performance fees asked for by Jamaican artists. They want to take $80,000, $100,000. Corporate Ghana find it very hard to support, especially reggae dancer and music, simply because they feel like um, Rastafari and weed is attached to it. So our artists must be up and doing, put themselves together, go into their inbox, reply to their emails, you understand me, and try to create that kind of connection between us, us over there, because we see Jamaica as Africa out of Africa. And since around 2013, African names know the concert headliners. One less reason, he says, to justify hefty visitor paychecks. I'ma make you know they test me. All of a sudden, the table turned, where Afrobeat is making the waves now. And artists like the Stone Boy, like the Shatter, like the Samini, like the Jupiter, like the Episode, like the Raskuku, you know, and among others, all of them started doing Afrobeat because everybody wants to eat food. If you bring any artist from Jamaica or elsewhere to Ghana and you don't add a local artist like Shatterwale, Stone Boy, Samini, trust me, nobody will attend. Simply because our artists now have They've branded themselves and they've put themselves to a level where you can't do without them because they have the crowd. Okay, top three names out of Jamaica in Ghana right now, Legacy. 
Number three, popcorn. Second will be Buju Bantan. And the first should be Luchan. That's Ghanaian reggae and dancehall radio man Lagazi. King Lagazi soul, I'm no Yajamia back to Africa. Oh, we are a Negro. We kill the soul like the mafia. Oh, we are a Negro. Some boy appears on the old and I can't catch up Lagazi too popular.